Hey guys, it's Lays Bro, and I'm back for another video. I'm not doing any reaction videos right now, but I wanted to talk about some other things here. Mostly, I wanted to talk about my main project here. Annabelle. Mm-hmm. I'm still working on Annabelle. I know you guys were wondering what's going on with that. Am I still working on that? You know, yes, I am still working on it. That's my, my main project. For those of you who don't know, Annabelle is, a, is, an, is an unofficial Disney descendant story that takes place nearly 15 years after Walt Disney's 1940 film, Pinocchio. In this story, Pinocchio's all grown up, and Jiminy Cricket's been away for a while and comes home to find Pinocchio falling in Jiminy, in Geppetto's footsteps. Sorry, I said the wrong word there for a second. And, well, I guess you could tell, you know, the fairy brings his daughter to life, and now she has to learn the same lessons he did. But, fortunately, I've been working for this story for about, about two years now. I actually started it way back in 2014. It was kind of a short story, which was just a, you know, a copy, retelling, re retelling of the first film. It was a very short story, only about 13 chapters. But in 2016, I decided to, you know, try and uh, remake the story and actually make it longer and have more characters and you know, character growth and stuff, and, well, it's been almost, it's been almost five years now since I started working on Annabelle, and I know it's, it's, it's progressing slowly, very slowly, because, you know, with this new, ver this new, the, the old version was just, was just a short story, and pretty much just followed the same, uh, the same things that Pinocchio went through in the movie. But the, but I think I really want to, to retell a different story. I'm sure I'm going to have some of the th there's the story the newer story still has some of the things from from the first version of my story. But there's gonna there's new characters in the story and more characters to progress and not just the main character that grows and progresses through the story. There's also her friends, her family, other you know, and it's just it's gotten to the point where. I have so many characters that sometimes I just don't know what to do with them. I mean, especially Jiminy Cricket because, you know, the mentor, you know, teacher, you know, conscience thing. I just, I feel like now that she has, like, these other two characters, her best friends, you know, keeping her on the straight and narrow, I feel like, you know, I'm, sometimes I honestly don't know what to do with Jiminy Cricket because he just seems to be there, you know, just just to, you know, offer a little advice and I mean, he has, in uh, earlier chapters in my story, he does give advice, like when he uh, tells Lampwick's brother, don't fight back against these bullies, because if you fight back, you'll only be proven that you're just like your brother, and you're no better than they are. But, so, I just, maybe, I just, sometimes it's just hard to figure out where to have him, what to do with him, and to when to have him, you know, give advice to Annabelle and her friends, because he's supposed to be, you know, looking out for them as a conscience, you know, because it's his job to keep children from, you know, straying off and staying on the path of righteousness. Pinocchio also has a little bit of a, a little bit of a side story here. He's, there's, I'm trying to implement here, the, like, a romantic subplot between him and his daughter's friend's mom, because they were like, this is a thing I made up myself, but one of the spectators from, from the film you know, at the Stromboli puppet show, one of the people in the audience saw Pinocchio as a puppet dancing on the stage, and after he became a real boy, this character befriended him and looked after him like a big sister. And she was, and I, I wrote in, into the story that she was the granddaughter of a character from the book, Mr. Cherry Antonio, the guy who finds the magic living log that be, eventually becomes Pinocchio when he gives to Geppetto. So that character wasn't in the Disney film. So I thought maybe this, you know, Alex was kind of like a way to uh, implement some some of the characters from the book into the into the Disney version. Which, of course, this character's not around anymore. He and Geppetto are long gone. So you know, Annabelle and Alex are their granddaughters, and it only makes sense that they would be great friends because their grandfathers were good friends. Also, there are going to be other characters, you know, like from the book. Some of them, but they're going to be different versions of them. Not all the characters, you know. I know there's there is there's going to be the the fisherman guy, you know, the big scary fisherman guy that tried to eat Pinocchio in the book. But that character is going to be more like a Shrek type character in my story, kind of a misunderstanding type thing, you know. 
also I wanted to incorporate some things from uh, there was in 2006 there was supposed to be a Pinocchio 2 where he uh, goes on uh, an adventure for something dear to him and something happens to make him question why life appears unfair sometimes and I'd like to incorporate some of those ideas into my story but the problem is just finding life lessons because my story is a mixture of a uh, slice of life and adventure I know very little adventure and more slice of life so <laughs> they don't really go very many places besides just hang around the village and going to school and just getting into other escapades and stuff and shenanigans really it is Annabelle doesn't really isn't really much of a trouble making type of character you know like Pinocchio was in the book she's more of a observe and learn type character I guess you could say now, I'm not saying she's a Mary Sue or anything like that I mean sure she does make mistakes from time to time but not very often really I just that's mostly because writing is I'm still I'm still I'm still a, I'm still a beginner when it comes to learn when it comes to writing stories and characters and so because I never really studied writing I never really learned because you know it's I've tried but I just can't focus and learn. I need someone to actually teach it to me. I'd have to go to school to study to learn. So this story for me is also a learning experience because it's helping me to learn how to be a better writer. And I'm reading from other stories and learning some ideas and borrowing some ideas and giving credit to them. But, you know, it's 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 coming slowly. I've gone about 14 chapters here. I've written like four other chapters. I just don't know which one to go with right now. Which one better progresses the story? And I have, I can't decide which character to focus on. I need to you know figure out some my things for Annabelle to do besides just go to school and learn other things. Maybe get into some. I mean, it's really hard to think of what are to make her, what to make the characters do. How, should I make them you know stray off and get into trouble or? just have them stay on the straight and narrow or just you know just focus on other characters cuz this is this isn't this isn't a movie that I'm writing you know like the first version was kind of like a a movie version you know a short story but this one is more like a TV series you know where the characters learn and progress and grow as the story progress as the story continues so still working on that and there's a lot of there's a lot of other characters in the story you know and I want them to grow and learn, not just be inspirations and guides for the main character. So, I'm still trying to, so my story is coming along slowly. I don't know when the story will complete. I'm, I'm hoping to go for at least like maybe 30 or more chapters, of, depending on if the, if the characters haven't learned enough, then maybe I'll make the story longer. I'll go up to like 40 or 50. I don't, I honestly don't know. But I do have an ending my, in, planned. And um, unfortunately, I'm not going to tell you what it is because you're just, that's going to be my big big reveal at the end. So just the the, pro, the 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 challenge is getting to the end. You know, you have your ending planned out. It's just getting there, getting the characters all there is the struggle because you know you have to the characters have to learn things. They have to grow. They have to you know become become the people that you want them to be. You know, you gotta get them to where you want them to be. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 the thing with writing. Writing is a ch writing is a challenge, and you know, sometimes you'll just say, you know what, this isn't working out. I can't continue the story anymore. It's just I don't know where to go with the story. I don't know where to go with the characters. I don't know what to do with them. There's too many characters. I can't think. I can't concentrate. I can't brainstorm. It's just begin. It just becomes you know tedious and stressful. I mean. You just feel like, you, you know, writer's block really builds up and you feel like, you know what, I'm done with it. I can't do it anymore. It's, no, no, you don't need that kind of attitude. You don't walk away from something when you start something. You need, you have to finish it no matter how hard it becomes, no matter how tedious it gets, you know, how many, no matter, it can take you like maybe 5, 10, 20, even 20 or 30 years to write a perfect story, to write a great story. You know, because some stories take long maybe in years maybe even decades to write and some stories now some stories do get finished and other ones don't but I've made the I've already started the story I've already you know continue I, I drew the characters I wrote the stories I might as well go through with it all the way because you know I'm uh, the main reason I'm doing this story is for you know, of course Walt Disney himself this is the story is a tribute to Walt Disney 
because you know he was a great man. He wrote great stories. He made good movies, cartoons. He was a great man. I know a lot of people say so he was a Jew hater or this and that and so and so. But you know what? Not everyone's perfect in this world. And we don't know specifically know if any of these st any of these things about these people were true. You know, so like you can't just believe what the media says all the time because they they sometimes they just make stuff up to say you know make people look like really worse than they who than they really were because not everybody's perfect in this world and so you know Annabelle is my main project and I will continue to do that I don't know how long it's going to take me to do the story I don't know how many chapters they're going to be I don't I just I already know what the ending is going to be like it's just getting there that's the struggle. This, this, is, this is a long story. And it has, you know, it's nowhere near com being completed yet. Because, you know, we still have a lot of ways to go, a lot of lessons. Because, you know, the means the idea of the story is for Annabelle not just to learn right from wrong like her dad did. It's She has to grow and learn about life. You know, what it means to really be a human being. You know, she's living as a life. She's living, starting out her life as a wooden puppet, like her dad did. When she's slowly learning, you know that sometimes life is fun, and life is sometimes unfair, and sometimes life is, you know, cruel. And well, I don't think I'm going to go that far. No, I am not going to. I'm not going to focus on you know death and loss. I just don't think that's the type of story I want. Thing I for for this, you know the. I just not the thing I want for my character to learn. I mean, sh sure she'll learn about it eventually when she gets older, but I don't think that's something I want to touch on in this story. I mean, sure her dad nearly died at the end of the movie, but he came back to life, you know, but I just don't think death is a subject that I want my characters to learn about in my story. So, I think that that'll just be, you know, they'll just learn about that when some of them do know about it, but not my, not me, Annabelle. No, I think I'm just gonna, you know, let her learn about that when she gets older. So I want to keep this story lighthearted. You know, it's gonna be. I know a lot of people say, you know, the movie, the the original movie was dark, because you know the things with you know Pinocchio being locked in that cage and growing donkey ears and watching his friend turn into a donkey and all that stuff. That was pretty dark. Well, I'm not exactly a dark type person you know I don't really like dark stuff really I don't really enjoy seeing dark depressing stuff but so my story is more lighthearted I guess it does get a little tiny bit dark sometimes but not nothing too big and you know depressing and get terrifying and stuff but I might say I might save that for the final for the final arc maybe but I will give you some idea of what's gonna happen in the final arc Something's gonna happen to Pinocchio. And he's gonna become deathly ill, and Annabelle's gonna her friends are gonna have to go and find a way to uh, try and sa find a cure to try and save him. That's all I'm gonna say right now. So that's kind of a nod to uh, the canceled Disney Pinocchio too, where Pinocchio supposedly was gonna go on a journey for something personal to him, which I don't know what it was because they never told us. All they told us was you know Pinocchio goes on a journey for something dear to him, and something happens to make him question why life appears unfair sometimes. And as for the you know, questioning why life is unfair, there that that's there's going to be uh, a chapter in the story where Annabelle does that. I just haven't figured it out yet. I know there's lots of things that can make a child question why life appears unfair, but as of as of right now, I think I have a few ideas in mind. I just don't know which one to go with. But you know, we'll just see how it. We'll just see what happens. Also, I just want you all to know, as far as copyrights go. The story is not endorsed by Disney at all. You know, this is a fan Disney fan project. This is not. I'm not trying to make money off this. I don't know if I'm going to try and publish this as a book when I, when it's completed. I don't know. You know how copyrights are. You know, it's. I don't know if I'm going to sell this to Disney or try to make like an audio reading series. I don't know. I just don't know right now. It's it's too early to say stuff. You know, I've I've been writing the story for a couple of years now and. It's it's nowhere near being completed yet, so I just I might be taking a break from it. I might be trying to you know work on it off time when I when I have some time. It's just you know things are just I'm just going through some tough times right now. Things are changing. Things are different. Things are 
but I'm still going to keep going on with my projects. I'm not going to I'm not going to give them up. I've gone I've come too far now. I might as well go all the way to the end and finish them. I also have my uh, my DeviantArt comics and stuff and I might try and get into some animation. I don't know for sure if I will. It's just you know, animation is something that takes a long time to learn, maybe even years to learn. But well, we'll just see what happens. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick brief, you know, update here on Annabelle. She is still in the works, and I am still working on it. It's just her story is coming along slowly, and just wanted to tell you a little bit more about the story and what happens in the story. But so yeah, that's I guess that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to talk about here. I'll keep you guys updated on my. Uh, on my stuff and I'll let you guys know if I do anything new. So if you guys want to check out my uh, my story and stuff you can check it out on DeviantArt or you can look it up on my Facebook thing. I've got posted a few chapters on there. But I guess that's all I wanted to talk about for now. So if you guys like this video and want to see more of my content and stuff you can check the links. And you can go to my uh, account, to my DeviantArt accounts or my Facebook account and read some of my blogs and posts and stuff. We'll look at some of my comics and artwork and stuff. And if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. And I really appreciate any feedback you guys can help me. If you guys have any ideas for my story, if you, for ch future chapters of Annabelle, you think they can help progress the story and the characters, you know, it doesn't have to be just Annabelle. It, has, it can be her friends, her dad, her Jiminy Cricket, or other characters. Anybody. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Lazebro. I'll catch you guys later.